Okay, today we're going to learn how to do a one-point perspective drawing. All right, you have your document here. I am going to make a suggestion under document setup. You should probably go by for not portrait but landscape and go 640 by 480 in dimensions. All right, now the first thing we want to do is under view, we want to show rulers. And we also want to show the grid. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to create two things. We're going to create a high horizon line right here in the center, and we're going to drag over, and we're going to put a vanishing point right here in the center. What we're going to do then is we're going to select both of these lines, uh, and we're going to lock the guides. It looks like we can't do that. All right, it looks like these are set. Next step what we're going to do is we're going to draw about f between five and six squares, both to the left and right of the document and above and below the horizon line. All right, now the next part, part of this is actually quite simple. The scale tool is over here. We're gonna click on the scale tool and I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and I'm gonna click here on the vanishing point. And I'm gonna scale my object down a reasonable amount. How about 75%? I'm going to do uniform scale. And this is the important trick. I have to do a copy. So I'm going to copy, and you notice that it gets 75% smaller and 75% closer to this point here in the center. Now, the only problem, this is in front, so I'm going to go object, arrange, send to back. So now what I have is I have two cubes that are the same size, but they are proportionally sm getting smaller. In order to make this work now, what I have to do is I take my pen tool, and I'm going to connect this front corner to the rear corner of that square, then to the rear corner, next rear corner, back to the front corner, all the way across to the top. And just to make this look a little bit more visible, I'm going to actually paint it purple just so you can see it. I'm going to collect the black arrow to deselect it, and then I'm going to go back to the pen tool, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to click the front lower corner, the front upper corner, to the front rear corner, top rear corner I should say, rear lower corner, and then the lower front corner. And I'm going to make that a different color just so you can see how this looks. Now what this should, the effect you should wind up getting is you should wind up with a series of objects that look like cubes that are just floating there in space heading towards a distance. Now one of the things I would also like to do is I'd also like to actually scale, once I've made the entire object, I want to scale the entire object. So I'm going to select the entire object and I'm going to go Hold, click on the Alt key, hit Scale, click on the vanishing point, which is right there in the center, the intersection of the two blue lines, double click, double click, and I'm going to, whoops, cancel, try that again, I let go at the wrong time, uh, Scale Tool, Alt, click there, I'm going to scale this guy down a little bit more, 50%, make a copy, object, arrange, send to back. Do the same thing again, Alt, 50%, make a copy, object arrange, send it back. So now that is basically how you can create an object that is heading off into the distance. It looks like a whole series of boxes that are heading down in a specific direction. All right, I'm going to kind of cut out for a second, and I'm going to kind of finish this drawing so you, get an idea, so you can get a better sense of what it's going to look like when it's done. Okay, I've repeated the process I did on the first couple of cubes several times, all right? Now, one of the things I did is I used different sizes, different shapes, that kind of thing. And what you wind up getting is you get the sense of objects that have been made um, that have, um, that are descending. I guess the feeling I'm saying is you kind of get the feeling of maybe being on top of a building looking down at the buildings below you. All right, you can then actually do some fun things with this. You can actually connect these guys together, like you can... If you like, you can take the pen tool and you can actually draw connecting, like corridors. One of the things that would actually help with this, I guess I should say, say I want to draw a corridor going from that building to this building. I draw a couple of guides and then I just say, okay, drag a guide down here. And all I have to do now is draw a point that connects these two buildings, which is faithful to these guides. And I actually
actually probably should have drawn another pen. And so now I have a little catwalk that's connecting the two buildings. All right, so this is just kind of a handy way of creating a one-point perspective drawing, which gives you a sense of um, depth and dimensionality that you probably wouldn't get doing it a different way. All right, so, you know, there we go. All right, and that concludes this one-point perspective drawing. I want you guys to play with this, practice with this, see what you can come up with. The color is not necessary. You might even try enhancing this with gradients and that kind of stuff. But I just want you guys to play with this and see what you can come up with.